Hello everyone, it's Steven here with another unboxing video for you, and this time it is the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 1995 Ultimate Burning Version. So this is a repaint of the original Godzilla 1995 released way back in the day, I think it was the end of 2012 I believe, and collectors finally have another chance to get this guy. Now, this came out in Japan at the end of December 2016. However, for North America, Bluefin will be releasing it sometime at the end of January, beginning of February, hopefully, hopefully 2017. So I got mine from a Japanese retailer, which ordered it through their web shop and yada, yada, yada. So I got mine early, but if you're looking to pick yours up, you can still order it at a few places like Amazon and MSRP is about 90 bucks. So if you want to get it, you missed out on the first release. This is a good alternative for you. This repaint features all red and orange dorsal plates. So if you like that, Hey, this is a reason to pick it up. So now that we're taking a quick 360 spin of the box here, you can see that it still carries that three edgy five me, whatever you want to call it, slash mark design of the SH Monster Art Boxes, which I really don't care for. But at the end of the day, it's just a product box. Now, since this is a web exclusive, before we get into taking a closer look at the box, I want to cover that this does come with the web exclusive brown box. Pretty boring, but hey... It is what it is. The front of the box is pretty standard. We have a look at the figure itself. It is the prototype of the figure, so it looks very, very pretty. And on the back of the box, it's the standard promotional images, yada, 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 all fine and dandy there. The sides of the box just have more Godzilla 1995 stuff on it. The top of the box has the red slash marks, and on the bottom of the box, we just have the technical Lego mumbo jumbo that you really don't need to know because you can't read Japanese, most of you anyway. So, enough of that. And so now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The actual box opening. Now, I know what probably five of you are going to ask. How did he manage to keep the tape seal on the box after he already went through all the pictures and showing us everything? That's the power of movie editing, baby. Alright, so we're opening it up here. You can see there's tape over here on the sides, too. Be mindful of that when you're opening up your Ultimate Burning version. Or any web exclusives that you get, because that can trick a lot of people up. Ah, no. Come on. Oh, see? Like I said, there's still tape over here. I can get a lot of people. Alrighty. More tape. You'd think at this point of the game I'd be able to do it, no problem. Ah, there we go. You can see the edgy 3-meme 5U slash marks of the new SH Monster Arts boxes. And here is the box for ultimate burning version. So, pretty not impressive. Yeah. I went over this in my Shin Godzilla review. These boxes. Alrighty. So, do we have instructions? We should. Yes, here they are. The reason why I show the instructions is somebody actually asked me to show them in my Kong review. So here you go. Here's how you use all the parts. Now, the reason why it says warning may rub off, not necessarily true. I mean, it could happen. It more than likely would if you're an idiot. But the reason why they put that there is, you know, it's a technicality. This way, if stuff starts to rub off, then you can't say that they didn't warn you. Alrighty, now we're going to take a look at the main event here. Burning version. Here we go. Alright, so we can see... All of the different effect parts here, the smoke effects, some like to refer to them as um, <clears throat> uh, a specific kind of fluid. We have alternate hands here, which I'm glad to see that they continued with, and then we have the figure. So it doesn't look like there's any tape holding the tray in place, for better or worse. And we have this little plastic bubble here to prevent paint transfer. Uh, wow. So not only is it shiny... And very glossy. It is slimy. Mold release. Okay, so we'll put the tray off to the side here. And we will take a closer look here at Ultimate Burning Version. Alright, so now that we're at ground level here with Ultimate Burning Version. Something I noticed right out of the box is that the dorsal plates were not aligned properly. So they had this little curve to them. And, oh boy... So I don't like the all orange dorsal plates because I think it kind of looks like a bootleg. But uh, yeah, look at this one right here. We already have some paint scuffing and chipping right out of the box, guys. Ooh, I uh, I don't like that one bit. 
Um, let's zoom in on the face here because a lot of people were a little upset with that. As best as possible. You can look at the teeth here. Uh, they're not pretty. They're not pretty. And you can see his gums really, really, really well there. A little bit more than uh, I think you should be able to see them. The eyes look pretty good. But holy mother of Jesus. <laughs> oh, boy. I thought I was done with Bagzilla. All right. Well, I guess that's not the case here. All right. So review. Um, yeah, that should be good for focus. Yeah. I've given up here. Uh, review. I am going to do the best that I can to get this review up as soon as possible. I've got a relatively busy weekend. Those of you who have been keeping up with me on the different social media outlets, you know, I've got a ton of reviews to get to. I've got a ton of videos. I got a ton of videos I got to get to one way or another, and um, I will get to them soon. So thank you, everyone. <laughs> I give up on this line. <laughs> give up. I really do. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to give it that thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, drop a comment down below. Share your thoughts on this. I mean, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. <laughs> this line's going to hell in a handbasket. <laughs>